The Patriots' playoff push is very good for business in Rhode Island. The Rhode Island Sports Commission estimates the team's two playoff games will bring in more than a million dollars in revenue to the state. Iowa News News reporter Steph Machado has more now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Steph? And that estimate, Mike and Caroline, is just including the opposing teams, the NFL, and the media coming to Providence. So if you add in the fans that are coming to stay in Rhode Island, it's even more money. The Patriots' playoff push reaches beyond Gillette Stadium as the city less than 40 minutes away sees a boost. Between last weekend and this weekend, we'll have hosted two NFL teams plus media, uh, film crews, and of course uh, a, a smattering of fans from uh, both Tennessee and Jacksonville, and it, it means great economic impact for the city and for the whole state of Rhode Island. Martha Sheridan is the president of the Providence Warwick Convention and Visitors Bureau, which has a division just for sports to attract NFL teams, media and fans to stay in Providence's hotels for the playoff games. TF Green is the official airport of the Patriots and Providence is closer to Gillette Stadium than Boston. During a time of year when hotel business would otherwise be pretty slow. If the Patriots are hosting one or two playoff games in January, it moves the needle on our hotel occupancy during the month. Of course, the extra people in town also spend money at local restaurants, bars, and stores. The Rhode Island Sports Commission estimates a million dollars in revenue these two weekends just from the official delegations from the Titans, Jaguars, NFL, and CBS Sports. And then the spend from the fans is icing on that cake. It's, it's additional money. And the influx of visitors to Providence also coincides with this year's Winter Restaurant Week. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Steph.